going everybody, I'm Jackson Taylor, and we're back with another video. So if you like the content that we're showing you, please subscribe. But today, we're going to be showing you how to build a cinder block trellis. Now, we're going to show you exactly how we did that. Okay, so now that you've seen our final product, we're going to be showing you how to build this and the materials you'll need. So first, we need cattle fence. Which we and we got the 16 foot version, and we're and we needed to cut it in half. So now we're going to show you how to do that. All right, so we bought the longer cattle panel. So in order to get two panels out of that, we got to cut it in half. So we got an angle grinder. This is the first time we've done this. So good luck. Okay, so now that we're back from cutting this cattle panel from Tractor Supply, we're going to show you the other materials we need. So, the first other material that you'll need is one long 2x4 like this. You can usually use one of these to cover two of them. The, the next thing on our list is one pre-cut 1x6 from Home Depot. You can usually find these pretty easily. Concrete acres, anchors, which are used for these center blocks to screw in. It's good to make sure you get these kinds or else they might stick out. And then the last thing on our list is just some old, plain old wood screws. And we're going to be using these wood screws to drill into this, into this 2x4. So now that I've shown you all the materials that we need, let's cut this 2x4. Okay, so now we've pre-cut these 2x4s into 1 foot each, so now let's just cut them. I'm going to just stick it through so that there's a nice little mark on each one. And when you take it off, you've got these nice little lines right there so that you can drill in. 
So now I'm gonna do it on the other side real quick. Okay, so there was a drill bit that actually came with the Tapcon screws. So what, I, what I'm gonna do is take the cement bit and drill it into the wall, but it's good to make sure you use a lot of pressure so the bit doesn't wear out really easy. So now I'm just going to drill into the screws into the wall. They all line up, so let's do it. There we, there we go. And now this is in. Now I'm just going to do the others, and we'll see you back in a sec. Alright, so now that we have all the little 2x4s in, we need to mount this board on. So, what I'm gonna, I have my sister Harley helping me here, and what I'm going to do is screw this in. There we go. That's good. So we'll do the rest of them, and we'll be right back and show you the final result. So this is our final product. We're hoping our passion fruit grows throughout the rest of our yard on our wall. And if you like what you saw, please subscribe and we'll see you next time.